In this tutorial, we'll be looking at the semantic structure of an HTML5 document. What we'll simply be doing is we'll be looking at the different semantic elements of an HTML5 document. Here, we'll first of all look at the definition of a semantic element. What is a semantic element? A semantic element clearly describes its meaning to both the browser and the developer. Examples of non-semantic elements are a div and a span. Both of these elements, they tell nothing about the content they represent. Examples of semantic elements Form table, an image tag or an image element, they clearly defined what content they represent. For example, an image simply an image tag represents an image in a web document. To follow along with this tutorial, I have my text editor opened within which I will be typing the different elements as we discuss them. A first element we are going to look, or the elements we are going to look in this tutorial are going to be the header element, the navigation element, the sections element, article element, and the footer element. Before we get into our header element, let's look at the oversight of what we are trying to do. Take an article or a web page, for example. We have a header, we have navigations, we have an article with different sections, and we have the footer. Let's look at the header element. The header element is a document header or a section header. The header tag cannot be placed within a footer, an address, or another header element. Let's go ahead and add a header element in our web document. It has an opening and a closing tag. So what can go within this header element? An example, the logo of your, the logo of your website or web page. Let's just add an anchor tag here. My logo. This is where you want to place the logo of your website. Now what about navigations? In a website, there's always a possibility that there will be navigations. You want users to click from one page to another, let's say to your contact page, or to your about page, or to your profile page. This is where our next element comes in. Our next element is the navigation element. This nav element, it represents a block of navigation links. It's used, it can be used for site navigation. Let's see how we can add some navigation in our web document. I'm just going to add this navigation within our header document. I'm just going to copy these anchor elements and I'm going to place paste them here a couple of times. Um, we have some we have to do some indenting. Okay. Okay, let me change the titles. Boom. about
contact. Let's save this and preview it on our browser. As you can see, we have the header of a document with a logo and navigation links. So when someone clicks on one of these links, they are supposed to navigate us to other web pages or web documents. Our next element is an article element. This is a self-contained content element. Let's say a blog post, a news article, or a forum. Such content should go within an article tag, which clearly tells both our browser and developers that this is a section of a text that is either a blog post, a news article. Let's go ahead in our web uh, text editor and add this element. Let's add some text within this article element. I have some text which I just copied and pasted you. Now, within this article, we want this text. Oh, let's just go ahead first, save this, and preview it in a browser. If you refresh this, you realize that this content or this text displays just well as an article but wouldn't it be nice if within this article we have different sections with different headings like our example shows us in this example we have an article with different sections and different headings so let's go back to our text editor let's add a heading or a headline to an article text. Let's save this and preview it again. Okay, as you can see, we have now an article with just one section with its heading or headline. Now, we want to have different sections within this article. Let's say this is section one and another section within this article. Uh, let's see how we can do it. Let's just copy this and paste it. I'm just going to do a little bit of changes here. Let's say section one, section two. Let's save this and preview it. Okay, as you can see, for our web visitors or our website visitors, it clearly states this is section one and section two. But semantically, this is not read as different sections in our HTML or by browsers. In order to achieve this to be read semantically as different sections of an article, this is where our next element comes in, the section element. It defines sections in a document such as chapters, headers, footers, or any other sections of the document. The section element can be nested, meaning one section can go within another section. Let's go ahead and add sections as our example shows us in our text editor. Our first section should be this, section 1, so let's add a section element here. And let's end it. With a closing section tag. Let's 
Let's add another section. Let's save this and preview it. Well, nothing changes. But now, our document, semantically, it's read by our browser with an article of different sections, section one and section two. Now let's head over to our next element, which is going to be our footer element. A footer is used as a document or a section footer. Links, actor copyright information, sitemap should be in our footer. Let's just head ahead to our text editor and add a footer to our web document. This should go after the different sections or after the article element of our content. It has an opening and a closing tag. Let's add some copyright information within this footer. 2015 All Rights Reserved. Let's save this and preview it in a browser. As you can see, we have a complete HTML document that is read not only clearly by, the, uh, by our page visitors, but also semantically in our HTML and search engines. We have a header with navigation links. We have an article with different sections, section one, section two, and we have the footer with our copyright information. So this is it for the basic semantic elements of an HTML5 document.